So you've just had some work handed back to you and in that piece of work I was testing to see whether you had understood this part of the OCR um, criteria for Physics A level. Um, this is something that comes up regularly in exams so I need to be sure that you, and you need to be sure that you fully understand an experiment using LEDs to estimate Planck's constant. So that's what this whole question uh, was about and there's a whole range of uh, skills that you need to, de to demonstrate uh, throughout this. If at any point you get uh, stuck during uh, the explanation to this question then just refer back to the uh, mark scheme uh, which is here and hopefully that will give you a little bit of an indication as to what the examiner, examiner was looking for uh, when you were given your answers and when they uh, wrote, the, uh, wrote the test question. So over to our first question. So there's a lot of background information about this and it's giving you a lot of information. Look at all the symbols that are being used here. And our first question that we're being asked is, can we explain the meaning of this equation in words? Now it's this key bit here where it says in words, because I got a lot of answers where we were just using symbols, where we were taking this and we were half explaining it in words, half explaining it in symbols. What the examiner was looking for, if you take a look at your mark scheme, is pretty much what does this part here mean? And what does this part here mean? So this part here is equal to the uh, energy of each electron going around the circuit. So that's the energy of the electron, that part there. So we were looking to mention something about the energy of the, the electron. And then this part here is the energy of the photon. So we're looking for some sort of answer about what the energy of the photon was. Okay, so you're, uh, if we flip back to our mark scheme, we were looking for one mark for the first mark. We were looking for the um, EV uh, min bit is the energy of the electron and the uh, HC over lambda bit is the energy of the photon. So they were our two parts that we were looking for there. <clears throat> if we have a look at our second part of our question, so second part of the question, it includes, let me just find out how we can scroll down. Yes, here we go. And second part of the uh, question, it includes a, uh, it includes a circuit diagram of the apparatus that we'll be using and your question is you need to describe the experiment uh, that was used to generate this data. Now the key bit here is this part where it says needed to generate the data. So a lot of you were doing really really well to explain what the equipment shows and what should happen during the experiment but we were missing out the key bits about how this uh, data was generated. And there's a couple of clues as to as to that leads us to understanding how the generate uh, data was generated. So the first bit is this bit here, and we're told what the average threshold voltage was. Now the fact that there was an average indicates that there must have needed to be some repeat readings taken during this. So if we flick back to our mark scheme, it says here. Um, repeat several times. So we needed to mention something about the experiment being repeated several times. Here it is again, a repeat for each LED. Um, a lot of us were going into a lot of detail about how the, or not, or how the equipment worked rather than how we would use the equipment uh, to generate this data. So a few missing marks there uh, from not describing step by step what it is we're actually doing with the equipment. So that was where we missed out on some marks there and we'll know to make a bit of an improvement on that for next time. If we take a look, look at our next one, this next question uses a whole load of skills that you should be using in your practical, uh, practical skills uh, part of your course. Um, so let's take a look at what we needed to do. So first step we need to do was our first instruction here is complete the table. So what table or which table are we talking about? It's this one here. And 
couple of answers that we uh, needed from that one were that uh, this one, so we needed to find 1 over lambda. 1 over lambda in this case, if my memory serves me right, was... And I don't know why you're moving about. Let's see if I can select a pen. Let's see if that works. No, no, it's still moving about. Let's use a different tool. Let's use this tool. So we were looking for um, and by now I don't even know why I'm bothering typing it in. You know the answers to this already. Uh, 2.14 there is uh, our 1 over lambda there. And this one was And then this one was 2.43. So let's just, there we go, lovely. Sorry, that took a little bit, uh, a little bit too long there. So that was your first mark, just for filling in those, just for typing into your calculator, one divided by this number and one divided by this number. You've got yourself a mark there. So assuming that you've done that all properly, we'll give one mark there. We've completed the table. Now we need to uh, you and use the data to complete the graph. So we're missing two points on the graph. So our two points that we were looking for were uh, 315, which would make it somewhere about there. And one about there. So we needed to get those points there. Both points plotted, that's another mark. Our next instruction is draw the line of best fit. Now, this was a error that quite a few people made. Now, I can fully understand why you may have made this. So you're looking at these points and then you're uh, drawing a line of best fit through them. So let's just put one that goes through like that. Okay, that isn't quite right because um, because one thing that we didn't spot is that when the voltage is zero, the one over lambda is going to be zero. So it's something that a couple of us spotted, but when the voltage is zero, one over lambda is zero. So our line needs to start from here. So if we start it here, well, let's try and get it to go through our points here and a line of best fit, something like that is what we were looking for there. So if we've uh, drawn our line of best fit there, get our, and then that will give us another mark. Now here we needed to show that the gradient was about this. So we needed to pick our two points on our, uh, on our line, let's say that point and that point and then we construct our gradient triangle and when we do that we and then when we do our calculations here uh, we should find that we get an answer that is approximately equal to 1.2 times 10 to the minus 16 and that would have gotten you your, gotten you your fourth mark there so four marks available for that one and here, this was question was done really, really nicely. Um, and what we needed to what we needed to know what we needed to know was that most of us had that y equals m x plus c. And we just wrote it out in terms of the equation that we were given at the very start of the question, or with maybe a little bit of rearrangement in there. So we wrote out that our y was uh, v-min, our m was hc over, over lambda, our x was 1 over lambda. 
HC over E, I mean, sorry, my bad there. HC over E. Hopefully you spotted that before I did. Our X is 1 over lambda, and our C is, of course, 0. If we've done something like that, then that's uh, 2 marks. And finally, calculate the value of Planck's constant uh, for the gradient. Now, if you worked out your gradient incorrectly up here, then you were allowed uh, the marks anyway. But all we needed to do is just take our H, C, over E, and we have to make it equal to our gradient. So whatever your gradient was, uh, you're going to make, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure it's equal to that. And we should have uh, solved that, and we should have got a number that was somewhere around 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. And it's not this final answer that we're fully focused on, because this could be slightly different to what you wrote up here, which itself depends on what your line of best fit was. But what we should have is something like that. And it's these steps that we're looking for. So two marks available. Uh, if you manage to get those. So quick look back to our uh, mark scheme. And if you need, if you're uh, unsure about any of the points that we've made here, then just refer to the mark scheme, because after all, that is how this uh, work is being assessed. Hope you found this video useful, and I'll make another one soon.